Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome to a daily dose of joy. We're going to dose our brains and we're making this commitment together. We are not alone. We never were. We start our day together here and we tap into that infinite flow of energy that creates universes that is flowing through us, that gives us the capacity to choose new habits, new ways of being in the world. And because of neuroscience, we now can leverage those habits to change the chemistry in our brain, really affecting the way we feel and the way we're able to show up in the world. Today, we're gonna use what should we do today? Let's do some whoopsie daisy stories because I've got a new puppy. So that is just right for whoopsie daisy stories. Let me tell you. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. You know, I pride myself on I get up in the morning and get dressed or maybe I'll get a little bit of exercise, do some things with the puppy, but I get right on meeting with you guys in the morning and starting my day and setting this intention. And it has gotten a wee bit more challenging with a furry, furry little piranha with four legs. And so I, so part of the prodding myself is I do, I just do it. I just like show up and do it instead of letting my editor get in there and critique things. And so I try not to like reshoot. I, I try and live what I'm saying that whoopsie daisies are a part of life. And so I try and when things go wrong, find a way to laugh at it. So we've had a number of those, like wobbly cameras and puppies barking, and <laughs> my son appearing with a puppy. And, um, but the other morning I had to actually decide to call it. Because <laughs> I'm great training now. Merged into letting him, you know, self-soothe, have a little bit of time in the crate on his own. And this particular morning he was just the not having it and so there was a going on for the background which was sort of subtle and and I'm laughing and talking to the camera about oh see Daisy you know it didn't quite go as planned but then the neighbor's dog <laughs> which is if you've ever heard barking on camera of a very frisky dog next door who and lovely neighbors who um, will bring him in at the drop of a hat if he's barking. This was quite early, and um, it wasn't that he was barking as much as that when he started barking, then my pup was like, burp, 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 burp. <laughs> my son with that morning was still asleep, and he was just like, Mom! So I got two dogs barking, and the kid screamed. And I was finally like, oh, well, we'll, we'll settle the drapes and start over. <laughs> and then I laughed my way through the whole thing. It was like, whoopsie daisy, life happens. Um, let's see, another little whoopsie daisy recently was... <laughs> So, so kind, bless her heart, just so sweet, so sweet. Um, dropped off some, like like a puppy shower. You know, she was a real dog person, and so she dropped off some puppy treats and, um, what was it? and, a, and a chew toy. And, um, and as we sat on the porch visiting and just giving, giving the sweet dog lots of treats, and lots of treats, lots of treats. And then right before she leaves, apparently he goes into um, digestive distress. <laughs> and he starts depositing things all around <laughs> the porch. <laughs> and she was mortified. She's like, oh, I guess they don't agree with it. <laughs> and I, of course, just started a walk out. I'm still laughing about how, like, you know, I kind of felt bad, but I 
thought it was really funny. It was like they went in and they came out. They went in and they came out. <laughs> so I was, you know, trying to catch my breath and laughing at the puppy deposits. <laughs> and she's like, oh, looks like we have an equal number of cookies to deposits. <laughs> And about that time, she joined me, and we were laughing so hard. So it gets better. Then, the way my house is situated, neighbors can kind of walk by and visit on the back porch very easily. And it's like open door policy, like really enjoy seeing my neighbors. And so this neighbor and her dog come on up to the porch, and uh, <laughs> get there. And the look on their eyes was like, Rrr. hear these two women laughing in a semicircle of, of puppy products, meaning puppy production or poo poo. I mean, oh, and she just looked at us, her eyes like this. And then she started laughing because she's like, oh, I've had a puppy too. You know? Now, three women, three dogs, this little semicircle. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that's it gets better. So <laughs> and then Oh, some newer neighbors come by with their beautiful baby in a stroller and they're like, hey, Winston. And I am laughing so hard that I pull it together and I'm like, hey, good to see you. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm not giving any, I'm not hailing them over, I'm not giving any signals like that. I think, okay, they're just going to go on by while we collect ourselves and collect the situation. Uh -uh. The little kid bolts for the back porch because <laughs> the little kid's familiar with the other's neighbor's dogs and is getting to know the puppy. Oh my lord. So <laughs> I bolt for the little kid to like stop. You know, like I didn't want her like stepping in any of the decorative items we had on the porch. <laughs> so I reach and swoop and pick up the kid who's luckily familiar enough with me that that was fun and entertaining. But then again, the parents came around the corner and they're like, <laughs> what could you do? I'd just be like, whoopsie daisy, life happens. Ah, oh, it makes me so joyful to laugh at life happening because I come at it from a place of deep gratitude. I mean, that story might have sounded to some people like, oh, just, you know, inappropriate, but it is life. Things don't always go according to plan. And in the past, I could get really tight and tense and concerned about what other people thought. And, and that didn't serve me and the joy in my life. And it actually didn't serve others. Because by my not tightening up and trying to fix everything and fix everything so it could be just so. Um, because I, I do love my porch. I have flowers that I tend. And, you know, but instead of going to like, oh, that's where I have to be, I was present with what is and found the humor in it. And it ripple effect to a bunch of other people that morning. I got texts later in the day about what a great start it had been to the day <laughs> because of all the laughter. So that's just a simple whoopsie daisy story. Hopefully letting y'all know that you can do it too, regardless of what is going on in your life we can find the humor in it, we can hold it with lightness, we can laugh, and that changes the way our brain functions. If when the wobbles of life happen, we don't generate cortisol, adrenaline, and norepinephrine and tension, but instead dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins, then that becomes our baseline. And then when the big things come along, we're much better equipped. So, I hope today will surprise and delight you. Let's take three solidary breaths to let this time together sink in.
Mm, that's so good. I'll see y'all tomorrow.